Hi guys, Veggie from the future, even though I am wearing the same outfit that I am in the video, so just ignore that. <laughs> just here to say that over on the Patreon, we have just completed Season 4 of Birth of Vampire Slayer. Love that, ep that final episode so, so much. And so if you want to check out the Patreon, guys, you can pay as little as you want and get access to everything on there. That includes um, Angel as well, because we're doing Buffy and Angel. We're now posting two episodes per week. We've also done the movie. We've done the pilot episode, which is very interesting. Um, and yeah, if, if, if you want to check it out, you get access to everything that's on the Patreon for as little as, as, as you want to pay. Or you can wait for these edited up videos, guys. I'm so sorry that they do take me a while to get out, but um, I'm hoping to be able to pick up the pace with that now and so hopefully we'll be get, getting them a bit faster but like i say over on the patreon there's versions where you don't have to sync up it's all just there for you if that sounds like the sort of thing that you want to check out it's there waiting for you if, if you want uh, either way enjoy the video hi guys veggie gamer back and we're back to buffy series one very nice we are approaching the very end and so i'm going to part my prediction right now this is going to be a two-parter Okay, I, I said last time it might be a free part, but now I'm, I'm going to say this is the first of the final two. Just because we started off with a t t two part, I just assume that's going to be the case at the end. So I'm going to be humiliated or uh, celebrating very soon as soon as I find out if I'm right. Much like I celebrated when I predicted uh, the uh, Naked in Class dream last episode, guys. I gotta say, guys, I really enjoyed that episode. It's very interesting reading people's reviews. It, it, um. So, so if you do have a, opinions of, of 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 the episode that we're checking it out, guys, please do let me know your your thoughts of it. Give me give me like a little review if you if you want, and like uh, rate it out of ten compared to the other episodes. Um, and it's very interesting how it's horses for courses. Some people like certain things about Buffy, like like maybe like the romance side or the vampire stuff, and like maybe some sometimes people find like the funny stuff like really good, especially as well. Uh, last episode for me was just great. It was absolutely textbook Buffy, and I'm not just talking. It was absolutely hilarious. Quite frankly, the shot of, and I know this is a bit mean, but the, uh, the shot of Cordelia getting dragged by the two chess players into the chess club might actually be my favourite moment from the entire show so far. <laughs> and you know what, guys? I, you know what? You know what? The reason why I, get, I keep going on about Cordelia, guys, is that she is the character which I did not expect to exist in Buffy. Quite frankly... Going into Buffy before watching any of it at all, obviously I, ha I had to watch that one episode before, which is very, very different. So when we get to that episode, I will be declaring this is the one which I've seen before. Um, before getting into Buffy, I assumed that all the characters were kind of going to be a bit like Cordelia without the humour, if you know what I mean. I, 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 I don't even know what, me what I mean by that, guys. But the fact that it's such a, a parody of such a, you know, fashion-driven, popular girl at school and everything. I think she's absolutely hilarious. I don't know if the actress has gone on to do much work afterwards, but I think that she is great in the role. And just that shot of her getting dragged into the classroom was amazing. That being said, I mean, the episode was hilarious, guys. It had some of the funniest moments that we've had in the entire show so far. I still argue that the funniest moment is Flutie saying, what are you kids doing here? And the, the, the guy saying, nothing. And he says, did I give you permission to talk? That might go down as my favourite line from the entire show, even after we finish all seven series, guys. But, um... Nightmare had so many funny moments in it. Xander acting like an absolute buffoon with those chocolate bars. Uh, and it's very possible, I think that someone did point out the fact that it's very possible that, that the nightmare was also affecting how he acted as well, you know? And so, which does beg the question. I, let me know your opinions on this, guys. I am 99, no, I'm going to say 90. I'm going to say I'm, ni I'm 9 out of 10 percent, no. I'm 90 percent sure that the Cordelia that said to Buffy that we've got an exam to go to doesn't exist. Play X Files music. Although a lot of you will probably know it as um, Illuminati music. <laughs> My age know it as the X Files theme. Um, I don't think she was really. I, I don't think that Cordelia was there. Much like, in my opinion, Hank wasn't there as well. And I, I, I have read comments saying, well, maybe that was Hank. 
he, he, that could have absolutely been Hank in what was possibly the best scene from the episode, actually, with, with Buffy. Ph- phenomenal performance by her in that scene. And she barely said anything when Hank was basically parading her in a very nice way. It's horrible. Horrible. Um, and I, I, th- some people do think that that is actually Hank being there but not being able to control what he's saying. Which would explain with Xander acting like an absolute buffoon with those chocolate bars. <laughs> that it is possible because the nightmare can affect reality to the extent where he could possibly even teleport around. You never know. Um, but that would... Because I mean, he's meant to be arriving at 3.30 and then he does later on. I don't know. This is why I really like the episode, guys. Because there is so much to discuss about it. So you have the incredible emotional part with Buffy. And the incredible emotional part with Billy. What a horrible nightmare that kid is having. Uh, and it turned out to be the coach, which they which they got him at the end. Um, went to jail as well, which I'm delighted with, of course. Um, and then you had genuinely scary bits. I'm not going to say the clown because I thought the clown looked awesome. There's something about creepy clowns which I just like, guys. I got to admit, I like I like creepy clowns. So I do hope that we have a creepy. There is definitely going to be a creepy circus episode. What's it going to be called? All the fear at the fair. And if I just predict that, pre- no, because no, because you don't call them fair in America, do you? So I, I think I think I'm right to say all the fear at the fair. No, because fair is different from a circus. Okay, what's the circus episode going to be called? Clowning? No, clowning around. That's obvious. Don't tell me what it is, guys, but I'm putting money on the fact there is definitely going to be an episode with a, with a circus coming to town and the clowns are, clowns are all going to be scary. It's not going to be the greatest show in the galaxy, in the galaxy. Ignore me. Right. Um, see, now I've lost my train of thought. But yes, it had genuinely creepy bits. Just to me with Giles not being able to, able to read actually creeps me out quite a lot, guys. And that didn't even have any monsters in it. Um, the monster, which I don't think we ever got a name of, which we wouldn't have done, was a really cool looking creature. Like I said, very Resident Evil. All in all, guys, I thought it was a spectacular episode. So, we're now on to episode 11. Out of Mind, Out of Sight, which is obviously a play on the term Out of Sight, Out out of Mind. And I think we're probably going to get a two-parter. I think that we will have more Colin in it. Um, who apparently is going to be dragging Buffy to hell at some point. Um, or maybe it's another standalone episode, but we shall see. Interesting to see if we ever see Hank again. I kind of hope so. Um, man, that scene. That's it. Yeah. That, okay. Buffy speaking with her dad, in inverted commas, uh, and Cordelia getting dragged off into the chess club. You see, Buffy's going to get dragged off into hell, and Cordelia's going to get dragged off into the chess club. Um, two favourite scenes from the episode. Uh, and Xander being an absolute. And Willow as well. I, I need to give Willow love as well. She was amazing in that episode as well. Especially when she's like saying it's a bit more dangerous when we, when we split up. But then she does go into the basement on her own. Uh, Favourite character. From the last episode. I'm going to. Oh no. I see the thing is I'm berating him all this time. I can't choose him. Can I? Cordelia's up there as well. That was such a funny shot. <laughs> the actress must have had a good time playing this character. No, it's got to be Zand. <laughs> it's such a way you see those chocolate bars. It's such a stupid thing. No, I can't get... No, it is. It's Xander. You know my feelings upon Xander, guys. We've got two more episodes for another character to take the series away from him. But uh, I will be giving my favourite character from the series at the end. But now let's get on to episode 11. The penultimate episode of the first series... Um, out of mind, out of sight. Spring training. <laughs> Here we go. Sh- Wait, who's this? The end of school. Who's this? Get your arm off my Cordelia. Off the rack gives me hives. Blue like your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> my eyes are hazel, Helen Keller. I got hazel eyes. Oh, oh, oh. oh no, oh no. It's a morning star. For history class. Mr. Giles has this, like, hobby of collecting stuff. Mr. Giles. I tell you about the time she attacked me at the bronze. Wow. Episode two. 
What's this nice? Do we not name? bleed? If you what? tickle us, do we not laugh? How does what Shylock says here about being a Jew Shylock. relate to our discussion about the That's angry, right. the outcast at society? With Shylock, it's wine, 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 like the whole world is about him. Shylock should get over himself. Like this time I sort Merchant of ran of over this girl on her bike. It was the most traumatizing event of my life. Like my pain meant nothing. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, bless. Cordelia's raised an interesting point here. This is a Cordelia episode, guys. I haven't read or watched or anything Merchant of Venice, but I know the no I know the name Sherlock and and that um that speech that was just being said. I want to talk to you about my final paper. Why don't you stop by tomorrow after school? We'll go over it then. That'd be great. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Wow. This is a fr wait wait where is this? This is not at the school. Um. Huh, okay. So this is, looks like it could be a Cordelia episode. Who'd have thunk it, guys? So I was wrong. It's not a two-part then. And this Cordelia ends up being the main. Maybe it's got to be Cordelia, but the, the Vampire Slayer next, next 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 series. You gotta look good to be on Cordelia's arm. Oh, it's not her arm I'm looking to be on. <laughs> so let's not go there. No, oh, doesn't like gotta be on her anything. Okay, I grab that bat. Over. Out. Grab the bat, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, balls, okay, no, don't, 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 don't grab the bat, don't grab the hat! Oh, it's not Peeves, is it? It's not Peeves. I can't, uh, it looks like we might be getting a core dealer focus episode, which is very, very, but we haven't even seen Willow yet. Or, or Mr. Giles, as Buffy referred to her. That's strange hearing that come out of her mouth. Why that bit? <laughs> yeah, I like that bit. Now remember who to vote for for May Queen, hasn't me. Thanks. Oh. I don't think I need the loony fringe vote. Wow, Buffy getting no respect. I don't even like chocolates. Okay, that was the lamest comeback of our time. <laughs> Bless her. Remember in sixth grade with the field trip? We right, <laughs> right. The guy with the antlers on. <laughs> yeah. The hat? <laughs> Gee, it's <laughs> fun that we're speaking in tongues. Poor Buffy. <laughs> oh, look at these idiots. <laughs> Oh, it just has a history of trying too hard. Yeah, what kind oh, of moron I see. Make, anyway. I was. We had the coronation and the dance and all that stuff. It was nice. Is it the same as Homecoming Queen or whatever? <laughs> Be my deputy. Oh, poor Buffy. <laughs> poor Buffy. Come on. <laughs> that laugh was Will amazing. On. I think he's dead. Of course not. Snyder. I heard something. I tried like to Cody Rhodes. A bad. He really looks hitter. like Cody Rhodes. What hit you? Thing was floated, it knocked me out. Very good. Thank you for the honesty. He could have said, I thought this was happening. Mitch wanted me to get his comb. I don't think Mitch needs his comb right now. I think Mitch needs medical attention. And his comb. What did you say? Mitch was gonna sue the school? <laughs> sue? Who's Sue? <laughs> I genuinely thought he meant Sue as the name. Blaine has, is the one with the. They're lying. I'm an idiot. I'm sorry, guys. I thought I thought Xander was telling the truth for a second then, but Blaine does have a lawyer, Dad. I remember all this pointless information. <laughs> okay, I should say Cody Rhodes is a wrestler, guys. I apologise. Just now, Mitch looked identical to him when he was in the stretch. Of there. <laughs> Although uh, Cody Rhodes has blonde hair now. Charles, and Mr. Charles. Oh, here you are. Never actually heard of anyone attacked by a lone baseball bat before. Maybe it's a vampire bat. That was amazing! Uh, an invisible creature, um, or possibly poltergeist. a poltergeist. A ghost? Yes. No. Not true. Not true. Thank you, Harry Potter fans. I know that that is not the, it's not the same thing. I'll research all the possibilities, ghosts included. But Xander, if you're not doing anything, would you like to help me? So there's homework now? I'm gonna find out what I can about Mitch. This attack wasn't random. Well, I want that part. <laughs> Talk to Cordelia. Dr. Cordelia? So, research, huh? Bless. <laughs> Scared of her this time. You should have seen him lying there. All black and blue. How's it gonna look in our prom pictures? Oh, for God's sake. I knew it was coming. Hi. Did you see Mitch? He just broke up with Wendy eight seconds ago. Hi, guys. What do you want? See, I was sus about uh, oh, her, her, Harmony. Why is she always trying? Oh, I'm definitely not sus about Harmony. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Harmony. I'm sorry. Don't die. I'm sorry, Harmony! Oh, for heaven's sakes. Snyder appears from nowhere. What happened? Hey, who's the principal here? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> was, that, was that laughing? 
It is laughing. Is this Wendy then? Mitch's ex. Oh. Okay, I know someone's here. It's a lot of truth. Look, I'm not gonna hurt you. I just want to talk to you. Good attitude. Interesting. Yeah, Poltergeist is not a ghost, guys. It's a, it's a creation of emotion. We've had a lot of discussions in the Harry Potter Jack, box. Oh, the men in black are here. Girl on campus with the ability to become invisible. That is so cool. Well, I wouldn't use my powers to beat people up. I'd use my powers to protect the girls' locker room. I knew it. I knew it. Harmony and Mitch, the common denominator is... Cordelia. Oh, hey, do you want to come to our place tonight for dinner? Mom's making her famous phone call to the Chinese place. <laughs> That's a good line. Oh, she's reminiscing, isn't she? Oh, I really like Buffy as a character, guys. I didn't expect to. I didn't expect it to be this complicated, quite frankly. Then again, I'm, I'm really enjoying the show more than I expected to. I expected to like it, but it's awesome. Love the characters. The characters are all brilliant. Where's this guy? Sorry. Who's there? Jaws ain't got nothing to do with Cordelia, although she mentioned him. Oh, good idea. Oh. Don't worry. I'm not here to eat. Buffy told me you don't feed from humans anymore. Not for a long while. What can I do for you? I know you've been researching the Master. Something's already in motion, something big, but I don't know what. Most salient books of Slayer prophecy have been lost. Pergamum Codex. Codex. Unfortunately, the book was lost in the 15th century. Not lost. Hmm? I can get it. Yes, please, uh, Angel. Giles is not liking this. would be most helpful. <laughs> Oh, he's like it is. Looking in the mirror every day and seeing nothing there. It's an overrated pleasure. Wow. What a nice freaking scene. Giles and Angel. Brilliant. So this is our poltergeist, I guess. Or invisible girl. She feels invisible as well. I get it. Thank you for making the right choice and for showing me how much you all love me. <laughs> I love you. She is hilarious, guys. This is the dead and missing list. It's the most recent one. Marcy Ross disappeared like six months ago. Marcy. Her only activity was band. She played the flute. Well, last night when I was hunting, I heard this flute, but I couldn't figure out where it was coming from. Marcy. Marcy Ross. Interesting. I hope... I mean, she did try to kill two people. Well, she, she's assaulted two people. But maybe she's not a, a bad bad, if you know what I mean? She clearly just wanted to be part of the group, but she was just... You know, ironically, completely ignored. I mean, she could be there, Buffy. Remember the whole invisible thing? Oh, she is there. Or well, someone's there. Ah! I mean, that would be a step up from hit. Oh, then again, Mitch was hit several times in the head with a bat, so. Well, it let her go. She let her go, I should say, not it. Oh, no. Why? Just because she's trying to help Cordelia out with stone? Oh my god! Okay, that's a step up. That's very bad. Cordelia get in there and kick some ass. I can't believe I just said that. Oh no, that's bad. Was it to try and set Cordelia up maybe? Or maybe that's it. Look, listen. There, okay, so we've had look. We now have listen. Have a nice summer. This girl had no friends at all. You guys didn't know Marcy Ross? Never met her, why? Well, we could wrote it too. Oh, no. Have a nice yeesh. Where am I? Have a great summer. See, I cared. You guys don't remember her? Bless. She was literally invisible. Of course. All right, Charles. Jeez. I should have looked at the quantum mechanical. Of course, Charles. Idiot. I think I speak for everyone here when I say, huh? Yeah, <laughs> me too. People perceived Marcy as, as, as invisible and, 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 and she became so. Wow. Wow, that's so sad. How is Xander putting his hand up so much? Oh, wow. No wonder she's miffed. <laughs> miffed. I knew you'd be here. Slight insult. I, uh, I, I know we've had our differences with you being so weird and all, and hanging out with these <laughs> total losers. Shut! Cut to the chase, Wait, Look, well, you know? anyway, I know that you share this feeling that we have for each other. Nausea? <laughs> this is all about me. me it's me, always me. about you. <laughs> wow, for once she's right. 
You're always around when all this weird stuff is happening. It's true. You've got all those weapons? I was kind of hoping you were in a gang. <laughs> I don't have anyone else to turn to. Oh, no! Don't we feel sorry for Cordelia? I don't recall ever seeing you here before. Oh, no. I have a life. <laughs> she can't help it, can she? Now, do you have any idea why she'd be so... God, is she really wearing Laura Ashley? So homicidal? I've never seen this girl before in my life. Yeah, here we go. Oh, man, so sad! Continuing the normal May Queen activities may be the best way to draw Marcy out. Oh, I guess. Bait? Uh, Willow and Zada, you'll help me begin our research on you. I think we know the cure, guy. guys. Freaking listen to her. L look and listen. It's nice to see Cordelia work, kind of working with them. So are you saying she's invisible because she's so unpopular? It's awful to feel that lonely. Hmm. So you've read something about the feeling? Hey, you think I'm never lonely because I'm so cute and popular? It's not like any of them really know me. I don't oh. even know if they like me half the time. That's why I was saying about staff just now. Feel so alone, then why do you work so hard at being popular? Well, it beats being alone all by yourself. Beats being alone all by yourself, wow. Early on, I said about how she, ha she has so many of these staff. That's exactly the point that she just made. Fantastic. Fantastic. Oh, we're back down here again. Willie's not gonna go on stage again, is she? Oh, it's Can recording. You say Balls. Gold? Oh no. You know what you were saying before? Cass? Somehow it doesn't seem to matter how popular you are when you were popular? <laughs> For God's sake! Cordelia, please try! Try! It did sort of feel like something was missing. Is that when you became weird and got kicked out? She can't. She can't help it. Can we have the heartfelt talk with a little less talk from you? Listen. Oh no. Cordelia. Ah! No, 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 no. Yeah, grabbing your feet is probably a bad idea. Oh, I thought I thought I had a bite in the neck. No! One spark and you'll take the whole building with us. Very good point, Giles. Very good point. My God. Me and Giles were thinking the same thing. Not Giles, sorry. Me and Zana were thinking the same thing. It's a dangerous worry. Okay. okay. Ah, okay. Maybe talking with her won't work. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, damn it. Wait, they're at the bronze? I mean, jeez, okay. My face, my face is numb. What is she doing? Speak with her, please. What does that mean? Learn. I don't know. I'm disappointed. I really hope you guys had figured it out by now. What did you do to my face? <laughs> face. That's what this is all about, isn't it? So it makes you shine just a little bit brighter than the rest of us. Oh, Marcy. I'm going to give you a face no one will ever forget. Oh, God. Okay, Marcy's scary now. No! <laughs> I mean, people who pass you in the street are going to remember you for the rest of their lives. The local anesthetic's going to wear off soon. I don't want you to faint. It's less fun if you're not awake. Oh my god! Okay, Marcy's t actually terrifying. Oh, I yes? start with your smile. I think it should be wider. Nice one, Buffy. Quicker. Don't do a Heath Ledger on her. Joker. You think you can charm your way out of this, don't you? Isn't that what you I'm think? I'm sounding pretty <laughs> self-involved as well right now, Marcy. Oh, god. <laughs> How is Cordelia going to pretend that this didn't happen now? <laughs> I mean, she's been through some things, but this is... Angel, thank goodness! Took your time, dude. Mom. Hey. <laughs> what do you want? I brought you the codex. Oh, excellent! Fire extinguisher or something, just to get. Moron, I'm invisible. Oh. Just to get I'm powder in the air. You can't see. Cordelia, shut up. Listen. Oh hell yes. We're going blood sport, John Cole Van Damme style now. Oh, this is badass. Oh my goodness. Boom! <laughs> Fantastic! Now tire the curtain. Boom! Everybody okay, that's badass. We'll take it from here now, man. Take what from where? We're for the girl. You can cure her? We can rehabilitate her. She'll learn to be a useful member of society again. Oh no. Do you know that you guys are very creepy? Thank you for your help. Have a nice day. Have a good summer. 
I feel sorry for Marcy, guys, but she was clearly an absolute... She was scary, quite frankly. How did you guys get out of the boiler room? Oh, well, when the gas was coming down? Oh. Janitor, um, time to... Hi. I guess I just want to say thank you. All of you. I'm waiting for the insult. Come on. We were going to grab lunch in a minute if you wanted to. Well, you're not hanging with these losers, are you? Are you kidding? <laughs> I was just being charitable. Very interesting. I really felt like joining that social leper colony. I was kind of hoping that she would. I was kind of hoping she would be. I was kind of expecting her to join the group. Oh, this is sad. This is, this is bad, guys. I mean, I don't, I don't like what's happening to Marcy here. Hey. Oh, class. class. This is Marcy. Hi, Marcy. Oh, wow. What are they learning? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I thought it was a feel-good ending. <laughs> I actually thought, oh, they're going to be actually teaching it. Oh, no, no, they're going to be assassins. God, guys, I was holding out that entire episode hoping that Marcy was going to be um, brought back just because people listened to her and spoke to her. But that was that was not the moral of the episode. <laughs> that was really not the moral of the episode. Marcy was absolutely terrifying. And now she's going to be a blooming assassin. <laughs> assassin. That's what I was worried the FBI was going to do. She was like, they were like saying that she's going to be very useful and everything. Throughout the entire episode, I was so sure that Marcy was just going to be coming back and they'd have a little hug and then it'd all end up that. But no, Marcy is terrifying. And clearly she is looking forward to the work that she's going to be doing. Also, Cordelia. Uh, what I was thinking about Cordelia, uh, you know, not being... Because we've had it where, like, Cordelia's like saying, huh, that was a weird moment or, or dream that I've, well, you know, think that just happened, you know. Collective dream and everything. But here, Cordelia cannot possibly go back to just thinking that Buffy, Xander and Willow are just, like, just, just weirdos, you know. She knows that there is more. Mitch... If it wasn't for Mitch, she probably would have... I was so sure that when Willow... Because she's... Cordelia was being too nice. And then when, when Willow, like, says, Hey, we're going to be going for lunch if, if you want. I'm probably just going, I'll go for lunch with you. But no, it sounded like she actually wanted to until Mitch, or Cody Rhodes, as I'm going to call him, turned up. I wonder if Mitch is going to be in again. Because it sounds like he's the last barrier stopping Cordelia from actually becoming one of the gang. Which I, which I do kind of, kind of expect... Because you watch the intro, guys, it's 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 basically all the good guys and Cordelia. <laughs> and the fact that you, I mean, that whole thing with Cordelia saying about um, it's better to be lonely. It's better than being lonely on your own, being lonely in a group. And I've got to apologize, guys. I got to take back exactly what I said. Exactly. That's the great thing. When I said, well... Cordelia has a lot of staff. Obviously, I was joking there. I, I was pretend. I was saying, like saying they're essentially working for her. They're not her friends. And then you had that wonderful scene where, where with Cordelia and Buffy, and Cordelia's like saying, "I know that's the case. I know the fact that everyone wants to hang out with me and everything because they want to, you know, further themselves in popularity." It's something about Cordelia, which is why I was really, really hoping. Marcy would have a baby face turn, which is, which is a resting term as well, sorry. The thing that, what was, what was Willow and <laughs> Sandra to start saying? Something like, want to be my deputy or something like that. I was bizarre. They do, do both laughing like complete goofballs from each other, which was just adorable. We had a little bit of Buffy, um... Yeah, you know, when she was, like, watching Cordelia getting measured for a dress and everything, was, like, you know, clearly quite... Reminiscing, uh, she was reminiscing. I don't, she wasn't uh, uh, jealous at all. But that's the thing, guys. That, that's the nice juxtaposition. Is that the right term? Where Marcy was like saying, oh, it's always got to be about you and everything. Ironically, doing exactly what she is saying. Because it, it, was, it all had to be about Marcy at that point. Cordelia they've got that scar now. I'm guessing that's going to be gone by next time. I'm guessing that um, that May Queen. Oh no, we do. We have May Day in the UK. We don't have May Queens though. Like at schools, you'd like do Maypole and stuff like that. 
which is like a um this is gonna sound quite strange to people from like america i guess I guess, actually, I'd, I'd imagine you might have maypoles. Maypoles. Maypoles are basically a pole with, like, loads of um, material coming down. And, uh, and uh, like, there's a dance that you go around each other, making, like, different patterns with with, uh, with the material. Um, that's what we tend to have for May Day. Actually, in Oxford, uh, on May Day morning, I've only ever been once, but on one of the colleges... So I'm from Oxfordshire, if you don't know, guys. Uh, one of the colleges um, has... Um, choir singers on uh, at the top of one of their spires singing out across oxford it's a very nice experience and and, and that's been going for decades like my parents would go and and and, and see that sort of thing um but yeah may queen is that what because i've seen the movie carrie the original i think i think it's been remade several times but i've seen the original movie carrie is that what carrie won or was that the homecoming queen or is it all the same thing I don't know, guys. There seems to be a lot of things like that. i got to give props to Xander with one of the greatest lines, and I didn't see it coming, where, um, uh, where, like, say, where, where they're around the, the lunch table, and I was, like, saying that, that it's, it's some, you know, the bat was being used by some sort of, like, you know, by some sort of creature, and quick as a flash, Xander, like, said, what, a vampire bat? I thought that was... I, I was amazed that the rest... Oh, okay, I'm not amazed that the rest of them didn't laugh because it's Xander. But that was an incredibly good line. So fast. So fast. Um, I thought... I just feel so sad. I guess you could say that when it comes to... Because uh, I was thinking the last episode, when it comes to um, what's at stake. Not vampire stake. Um... When, when what's at stake, the last episode, I think, has been the highest out of everything. Right? Because I know that the main story is lines about opening a gate to hell. Um, but even then, the fact that the nightmares are just overtaking everything. But it's only as long as Billy was around, wasn't it? So if the monster got to him... I don't know. Either way, this, this seemed a lot more, you know controlled you know and the fbi finally getting involved god I, i'd imagine they'd be busy in this town aren't they um i presume that we'll see the fbi again um i just really really wanted to feel bad for marcy but by the end and when she started to slash cordelia's face and saying that it's always got to be about her and everything. You just at, straight away just saw the irony of what she's saying. The fact that, that she wanted it to be all about her. It's sad. Fantastic episode though. I'm not saying it's bad because it's sad guys. It made it makes you think. It really made me think. And um, and Willow used the term miffed. Which I've never seen an American use before. Which is very strange. <laughs> Is she American? I'm guessing they're all American, right? There's no Canadians in this. I don't know. I've literally no idea. Uh, let me know in the comments. Um, let me Cordelia focus episode, guys. Was I not like talking a lot about Cordelia before I, I, I started playing? I think I was. Well, there you go, guys. That was a coincidence. Look, listen, and learn. Great episode, guys. I just feel sad. I do. I was... Throughout the, I think it, it's my fault because throughout the entire thing, I was. Throughout the entire thing, I was hoping. No, I, you know what? It wasn't even hope. I was waiting for Marcy to, to be brought back, to be redeemed, and to be told that she that, that people do care about her. But you know, things don't always end with a fairy tale ending. You know, guys. Sad, but very good episode. My goodness, we got one episode left of this series, guys. And it wasn't a two-parter as well, so I was completely wrong there. Harmony, I, I said that I was suspicious about, but I'm pretty sure that we've seen Harmony before, haven't we? She was the one who was doing the computer project with uh, Cordelia. I think in, like, the second episode, wasn't it? It, it was definitely in the first two, where, uh, where Willow tricked them into deleting their project. <laughs> Which is one of the best moments, just Cordelia's face going... And then it cuts. Which is amazing. Um, yeah, I've written down Shylock. I don't know anything about Merchant of Venice. 
apart from, I believe that Shylock is meant to be an antagonist? I think? Um... I really don't know. I, I know that it's I know that it's quite a offensive character from what I gather. It's quite a bad stereotype from what I gather. A Shakespeare though, I'm pretty sure Merchant of Venice Shakespeare. But yes, it was not a very flattering uh portrayal of a Jewish character. I don't know, guys. I'm saying all this and I I, I don't know if any of it is right, but I believe that is the case. Either way, let me know your reviews in the comments, guys. I thoroughly enjoyed this one. Like I said, I do feel I feel sad because it's one of these things where you, you you know you're watching it and thinking, oh, I hope the good guy wins the day and everything, but then it doesn't quite end in the way that you that that you're that you're expecting it. It's not that I wanted it, but I, I, I was expecting. Master, oh man, but it sounds like she's perfectly happy now. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Maybe we shall see Marcy again. Or not see her. That was an ironic thing I just said. Love every single one of you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. This has been another cracking one. And now we're on to the finale. So I'll see you next week for that one. Please subscribe. All the good stuff. I'm Virgie Gamer. And I'll see you next time.